Okay, everybody, I am in the store called El Rey's, and I'm just shopping for a few items. Just got some seasonings and stuff in the cart, and some miscellaneous stuff. But this is a very interesting store, guys. I just wanted to show you all some footage. This is a Latin store. I've actually done a video in here before, but this is just... interesting things that they have in here. Look at these piñatas. They are awesome. Aren't those cute, guys? I like your hair. It looks nice. Hair looks good. <laughs> Look at these, guys. These are so cute. Look. This is definitely the place to come get a piñata. Wow. Wow. But they got some very interesting things, guys. I'm pretty much, ooh, wait a minute. I'm gonna get some for cream of wheat. I'm gonna get me some cream of wheat and some farina. Farina? Oh, yes. And some cream of wheat. I got a malto meal, too. Gotta have malto meal, too. <laughs> I probably can get a small cream of, cream of wheat, though. Nah, I better get the big one. Yeah. All right. Get some. Let me see what type of cereal I can get. Popsicles. Uh oh, y'all know my popsicle thing. <laughs> I actually have a very special guest with me, guys. He's going to be doing some things on my channel. Really handsome guy here. And that's him. <laughs> he's helping me out and he's a singer guys and you're going to be seeing him on my channel very very soon so stay tuned and stay looking for this talent he is very talented guys hey everybody out there this is going to be a quick wendy's video i just have a cheeseburger that's it and i'm gonna eat it so here it is let me see if i can mold this back so y'all can see it if not, it's okay. I'm going to hold it up. I'll hold it up. Okay. <laughs> oh, one cheeseburger. Basic cheeseburger. Well, I got some pickles and some ketchup cheese, onions. But it's just one burger, guys. And I'm going to be good. Mm-hmm. Mm I'm gonna be good with this. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I got some Gatorade that I'm drinking with it. And that's about it, guys. Today. Mm -hmm. I don't make any more videos. Sorry, my shirt is kind of wrinkled, guys. I didn't really think to iron it. Didn't think I needed to. Didn't think I needed to so much. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing about Wendy's. Mm. One good thing about Wendy's, Wendy's burgers have fresh veggies. Now, that's one thing I really love, love, love about Wendy's. I didn't get lettuce on this, but the onions are good and the, the um, pickles taste pretty good on here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
I was trying to get a string up, an onion string, but mm, it disappeared, so it's okay. Mm. Good. So anyway, guys, let me just say I'm going to be doing some of my interning. I'm going to be incorporating some of my internship into some of my YouTube videos. I'll explain. Hmm. I'm basically going to be interviewing veterans, letting them tell their life story, letting them talk about how Dry Hooch, the Dry Hooch organization has worked for them and helped them, things like that, like testimonies. And that's what I'm going to be doing. And my first interview is going to be with actually my neighbor, Mike. You guys have heard about Mike. You've heard me mention Mike in a couple of my videos. Mike was the one out there that, um, that gave the guy the $50 to stop him from um, towing my car. So Mike is my neighbor, but he's also a veteran. And I asked him to come down to Dry Hooch, which is lo the Brady Street location, which is right by where I live, um, tomorrow, to, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock to let me interview him. So he's going to be my first person to interview. And I think it's going to be quite interesting just learning about veterans and, you know, how they operate. But Dry Hooch is basically an organization that helps veterans. It's veterans helping veterans. And they help you with transitional living, medical, or, you know, whatever you may need. What a housing, regular, normal housing, um, transitioning out of um, getting out of prison. They help you help you out, you know, back in the community when you get in out of jail. So I think that's cool. Um, when I was locked up in Tachita, I was fortunate enough to be involved in a program called the ORS program. And what the ORS program did was they allowed me to be rent free and um, utility free for uh, a year after getting out of prison. So uh, that organization was set up through the WCS here in Milwaukee, even though I did have some issues with WCS. Um, yeah, but the program was still in place. And what I'm saying is it's a good program. It's a good organization. And it's just nice to know that the Dry Hooch has something very, very similar, you know, to that. So it's a good organization, guys, but I'm going to start... Uh, interviewing people and doing things so that you can understand that um, so you can understand about dry hooch so you know what I'm talking about when I bring it up okay guys so let me finish <laughs> actually let me take a real quick sip and finish my burger The pickle. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like it. Hmm. I 
I talked to speak. I talked to Uncle Michael yesterday, guys. He was coherent and um, able to talk, communicate a lot better. That was good. He wants to go home. He don't want to go to the hospice. We want to go home, so. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know how that goes. But. I do know that hospice is out. It's not going to go through hospice. Even though veterans do have a program for, you know, um, hospice um, treatment, because I checked today, I want to make sure. I wanted the family to have some options, and then working for this organization just came right in handy to get some resources if I needed it. So I started working on that today. Mm, this is over. There's bread left. Mm. All done. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. Mm. I'm going to get going. Mm. Right into my next video. Or not. I might. I'm getting a little tired, guys. So I don't know. Maybe this is it for tonight. But at any way. At any rate, please view, share, subscribe, like, comment on um, this video, guys. And if you don't see me anymore after this video, I will see you guys tomorrow. I will see the A-Team. The A-Team. I'm going to start calling you guys the A-Team. A-Team, I love that name. So if I don't see you guys after this video,